Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. He's so worthy to be praised, guys. Look, oh, as I settle in here in this comfortable seat in this beautiful weather, clouds are scattered everywhere. The sun is shining and it's just one amazing day. We started out at like, oh, what was it? Um, 39 degrees early this morning and it's just been getting more beautiful. The temperature's rising as the sun gets higher and it's just a, a gorgeous day here in Michigan and uh, just enjoying it wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying your Tuesday, October 8th and uh, bringing a devotional called um, Out of the Jesus Calling. It's called uh, In Order to Hear My Voice. That's the title. We need to hear God's voice because God's voice is truth. Truth. And if we don't listen for God's voice, the truth then we believe the lies from Lucifer, the liar. So what do we need to do in order to hear God's voice? We need to turn the volume up. How do we turn the volume up? It's getting in his word and fighting through the problems, right? Running through the darkness and look for the light at the end of the tunnel. You've always heard that? Well, that's Jesus, guys. And he's going to take you out of that dark tunnel you might be in right now. But I know that we need to turn up the volume, right? You know how a good song plays? Oh, yeah, it's a good tune. Yeah, all right, all right, right? <laughs> we turn up the volume of God's voice. And now his truth drowns out the lies of Lucifer. Satan the sissy, as I like calling him. Not today, Saint, you jive turkey. <laughs> Sometimes he gets me, but most of the time we're double pumping and dunking on him there's the, the hoop back there praise the lord <laughs> and uh jesus gives us the strength to rise up above and double pump why might have been three <laughs> and dunk on satan today guys and get the victory as jesus did at calvary and he rose up above all the hatred with his love on the cross can't see my arms but on the cross and love indeed won that day hallelujah and it, and it wins today no matter what in order to hear my voice and i'm going to be getting into this right now but remember you must oh, focus on god in the storm no matter how dark and cloudy it is lightning striking and i always like going to that day on the sea you know with the apostles lightning was you know flashing right i would imagine and the waves were picking up and the and the, and the waves were crashing in the, and the wind was picking up and the waves were crashing in on these guys holy spirit have your way on this beautiful message but guys we need to stay focused on the lord because we need to hear his truth to push out satan's lies hallelujah guys in order to hear my voice you must release all your worries into my care Right now, what is worrying you right now? What, what what has got you feeling nervous? What's got you feeling uptight, full of anxiety, fearful, just worrisome? What has got you feeling that way? Make a list. Get a pen and a pad and write it down. Because the enemy will try to attack you when you go into prayer. But if you got it written right down in front of you, you can't go wrong. Hallelujah. And trust to me everything that concerns you. This clears the way to seek my face unhindered. Means we can seek God's face unhindered, guys, and, and we need to do that. We need to hear God's voice. When we're unhindered, now we can hear God's voice. We can see victory, but if we're hindered by something, we can't see in the darkness because that is of the darkness, and we can't see in the darkness, like walk around, dunk, banging into something, falling down in the hole. You can't see where you're going. But we can be free from what's worrying you right now first peter chapter 5 verse 7 lift all your cares up to the lord for he cares for you and me guys lift up the worries right now and now you can hear god's voice truth you are loved you got courage no need to be afraid because i am with you hallelujah and when God is with us, who could be against us? He who lives in us is, is greater than he who lives in the world. Jesus said, I have already overcome the world. Everything's been defeated. But we must listen and look for God in those moments when despair comes and you know anxiety and fear. And whatever you're going through right now, just know that we need to listen to God's voice of truth, not Satan's lies of worry 
that leads to anxiety and just takes your focus off the Lord. Listen, casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. This is what he's saying right here in 1 Peter. And all your anxiety, all your problems, all your worries, lift them up to him right now. And you'll never have to worry about anything. Hallelujah, guys. It's just an amazing day here. And, you know, the sun is out bright right now. But a lot of brothers and sisters are in, in darkness right now. And it's normal because we're in a fallen world of darkness. Darkness surrounds us is why we have to stay in communication with our Father in Heaven. Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And we need to have Him light up the path. Guys, listen. Let me free you from fear that is hiding deep inside you. Sit quietly. The Lord is speaking. My presence. Sit quietly in my presence. Whew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allowing my light, whew, hallelujah, to soak into you and drive out the darkness lodged within you. Whew, hallelujah. The lightness is coming in, the darkness is fleeing. Hallelujah. All in the mighty name of Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow, I just got to laugh because Satan and some demons that were hanging around here just went pew, pew, like the roadrunner went beep, beep. Satan and his uh and the fallen angels beep beep choo, choo. oh no the light ah right <laughs> hallelujah guys praise the Lord oh man no need to cry let's laugh right now in victory with Jesus hallelujah now first uh let's see Psalm 118 24 says this this is the day the Lord has made let's rejoice and be glad in it God gave us this day we didn't wake up by accident and go man I got lucky whoo man I woke up out of that sleep man oh man oh man no God blessed you up and gave you another day because he still has a plan and a purpose for your life Jesus only was here 33 years right he fulfilled his purpose he went home to be with the Lord God came as Jesus in the flesh as one of us to show that example of we'll be here for a short time and it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard it's dark and weary these dark and weary roads we travel in Satan's little sissy kingdom of darkness lies and fantasy world and much hatred God's light and his love will sustain us through it all but we need to hear his truth his voice we can't be worrying because if we're just picture this if here's my mind right picture a force field around my head right now circling my head worry worry here's God trying to get in pink pink he's bouncing off because I can't hear his truth because I'm so focused on the worry that's circling my mind that Satan put some thoughts in my head and the flesh is weak and weary and, and always thinking negative and 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 fearful things anyway of anxiety and hopelessness but we need to lift up this worry cares to God and let the of the lies and let the Lord's truth enter in your mind in your heart and now you got victory hallelujah it's really amazing guys it's so simple but yet so hard right because of everything we're going through we're born in this flesh this nasty flesh right here see I'm pulling on it we're in this funky flesh that's weak and desperate and and um you know just hopeless and you know just angry and lustful and all the bad stuff we were born into this and i always say thanks adam and eve <laughs> but you know satan tricked angels in heaven so i guess it wasn't really hard to trick adam and eve or trick us sometimes you know but again if we're listening to god's voice we ain't got time to listen to lucifer's lies all his jive turkey stuff praise the lord <laughs> oh man now, 1 Thessalonians um, chapter um, 5, uh, verse 18 says this. I'm going to read from 16. Rejoice always. No matter, real quick, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your holy name. Whatever you're going through, just rejoice right now. I don't care what it is, cancer diagnosis, relationship issues, money problems, work problems, kid problems with your children, um, kids at school, anybody of all ages out there. I want you to lift up a hallelujah to your Lord God Almighty because he didn't bring you to it, whatever you're going through, not to bring you through it right like he parted the sea and they went through he's about to part the red sea in front of you and let you through hallelujah verse 17 says without ceasing pray without ceasing in everything give thanks for this is the will of god and jesus christ for you and for me so what i'm going through today it's just meant to be hallelujah but i do gotta grab this thank you lord this piece of paper should have blew way over there the lord let it fall just right in arm's reach <laughs> he's good man hallelujah so 
Now it says here, um, ceasing from praying without ceasing. It does not mean constantly prayer. Like I walk around all day going, "Oh Lord Jesus, help me!" Oh, praise the Lord. You know, you know. Uh, well, I'm always praising the Lord, but that's a bad part of it. But uh, example, but always walking around going, "I'm praying in Your name, Jesus. I'm praying in Your name. You know, um, please help me." With this we pray. When you feel your joy and um, peace slipping away, that's when you pray. That's when you pray. Do not cease from praying when your joy and peace and darkness is trying to cover you. We want to get out into the light. Hallelujah. Not over here in the in the in the darkness. Once the darkness comes upon us, we want to step out of God's truth into his light. And now we can hear his voice of truth to crush Satan's whispers of lies. Hallelujah. It says here, um, thank thankfulness, right? In verse 18 should characterize the Christian life in every circumstances. Not thanks for everything, but thanks in everything. The, th the tough times we go through, I don't really want to thank God for that, but when I go through it, I give him thanks for everything that I went through because it made me stronger on the other side. Wow. This is the will of God, you know? And uh, the Old Testament example of this is, this is beautiful, was when Job, in the book of Job, lost his money, his children, his wealth. I mean, his children were killed. God said, you can do whatever you want to his family, but don't kill him kids everybody was wide open for satan's evilness and his children died his cattle his money went everything went and his health he blessed the name of god in spite of his personal tragedies not because of them nothing speaks more powerful of a walk with god that has continuous thank you because you trust in god you trust him through the pain you trust him through the suffering as job did as jesus did hallelujah i need you the lord is saying right now he needs you hallelujah to trust him right now he's allowed he don't bring the sickness but he allows satan to do his foolishness in our lives because without satan we can never be tested he's the only evil that exists and without satan god allows satan a little incy bincy kingdom here and a little bit of power but god allows him how much power he can have and how much damage he can do towards me and you but trust it might hurt like a lot but trust god through the pain there's purpose behind your pain guys i'm going to read the rest of this hallelujah let me free you from the fear that's hiding deep inside of you sit quietly in my presence allowing my light to soak into your you and drive out the darkness lodge within that's satan's lies lodge within right except each day just as it comes someone smacks you in the face oh oh man what, what the heck <laughs> or someone hugs me just the way it was supposed to go someone says stick them up man give me your watch and your little rubber ring <laughs> and your necklace yeah give me all of it man robs me or says here daryl i want to bless you with a hundred dollars that's just the way the day was supposed to go. And through each day, we will go through trials and tribulations. And it, it's not for evil to come against us, but to give us hope in a future, as Jeremiah 29, 11 says. So whatever you're going through right now, it's a test. Are you going to lounge in the darkness? Or are you going to step out in the sun like in God's light of truth? Hallelujah. And listen to his voice and not Lucifer, the loser's lies. Your choice. Hallelujah. And we got all the power. And all the victory just waiting for us. We're one prayer away from victory, guys. You're one prayer away from victory. Can I say it again? You got your one prayer away from victory. Rejoice in this day that I have made, trusting that I am abundantly present in it. Um, Jesus was abundantly present. God was abundantly present on the day of the sea when the storm came about and they were all panicking. Are you in a boat that's filling up right now? Is your boat sinking right now as waves of depression, anxiety, fear, and worry crashing down on you as it was the apostles that day on the Sea of Galilee? They ran for Jesus. They got comfort. He calmed the storm and the wind, the waves and the wind. God is waiting for you so he can calm your storm right now. Don't trust, don't, don't focus on the storm. Focus on the one who can calm calm the storm and who's with you in the storm god doesn't take you out of the play out of the battle out of the storm but he's with you in the battle he's with you in the storm and it's it's amazing right what comfort that brings me on a daily walk here wherever i may go it doesn't matter here, wherever i go god is with me and get, when god is for me who can be against me hmm.
Nobody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not today, Saint. On three, I want to hear not today, Saint. I might not hear it, but let everybody hear it. On three, not today, Satan. One, two, three. Not today, Satan. Hallelujah. Whew, I know a lot of my neighbors probably jump, drop their cigarettes and coffee right now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, guys. It says, I am trusting you and your abundant presence in it. Instead of regretting or resenting the way things are, thank me in all circumstances. Trust me, God saying, trust him. And do not be fearful. Thank me and rest in my sovereignty. His sovereignty means this. God is in total control of this world that he created. That he allows Satan to run around like a little, like a fly at a picnic trying to land on your potato salad. We're going to keep moving it around, but he might catch it and land on it. What do we do? We swat it away. When Satan tries to land on you today like a fly because Beelzebub uh, translated me Lord of the Flies. How appropriate for Satan, a funky, nasty fly and Satan. Yeah, they go together really good. <laughs> and I want you to cheer up right now because whatever you're facing... It's just the way the day was supposed to go. J Jesus had to face a brutal beating, false accusations, and nails in his hands, and was murdered. But he sits at the right hand of God. Soon we'll be home. There was purpose behind Jesus' pain. There's purpose behind Job's pain. There's purpose behind my pain and your pain. Pain is pain, no matter how we get there. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get up real quickly. I'm going to take you for a walk. Yeah, you walk with me. Talk with me. As, uh, you know, we go over here... Um, the Lord blessed me with some money, and I wanted to buy a flag for outside, and he picked this out for my house, so all the neighbors can see who are living in fear where I live. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. Go read Mark chapter 5, verse 36, and I want you to yell out hallelujah. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. If you walk by sight, I'm walking by sight right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm afraid of everything. I walk by faith. What's up, y'all? Hallelujah. Not today, Saint you jive, turkey. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But because everything here in sight, in sight everywhere, everywhere we go is set up to put you in fear. But what does the Lord say? Faith over fear is what we need to do. Faith crushes fear. If you walk by faith, then you got the victory. If you walk by sight, you're the victim. I want you right now. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. Satan radio comes on your radio. Lucifer's lies. I want you to turn channel to God's truth station. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want you to look up and praise God right now. Wherever you are in a building, outside, in your yard, look out the window. Just look up from your kitchen table, wherever you are, and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for the victory you gave me thousands of years ago that stands today and forever. We can't lose. There's not a battle. We can lose. Hallelujah, guys. I love you. May the good Lord bless you with peace and comfort right now. And we need to turn up the volume of God's voice and just know that in order to hear God's voice of truth, we must turn down Satan's voice of lies. And how do we do that? We focus on him. That's how. Peace be with you. I love you. See you next time. Hallelujah.